I've done my best. The, the time I took to pour through, highlight, read the statutes, try to understand is immense. I've spent quite a few hours into this. Why do I do that? Because you know what? Kyle Rittenhouse, no matter how you feel about him, needs an adequate defense. He needs people on his side. Now, social media doesn't think so, but I think that this is a young kid who, who went to Kenosha. He thought he was doing some good. Um, he had the best of intentions. I think that's really clear. He had no idea that this was going to happen. And he's in trouble. Guess what? Maybe it's, if you were ever in a condition where you're in trouble, wouldn't you like to have people coming to your side? People willing to devote hours to, to post arguments there, to defend you? Wouldn't you want that yourself? So I look at him, my opinion, he's not guilty. I, I've looked at the statutes. I'm not a lawyer, but I know self-defense arguments fairly well. Um, I can read. I can put the hours in. I do not see a homicide conviction here, intentional homicide conviction here. I just don't see it. I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think that the prosecution has a prayer in this. And they will probably at some point have to drop the charges and probably focus on the gun crimes. They have a chance at that. I think he may have broken some laws there. But intentional homicide? No. No. If what I read from the statutes and what I saw on video, if he's convicted of intentional homicide, then none of us are safe. Police officers aren't safe either. So it's important. I'm going to be producing a lot of more videos on here. And the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to walk along with Kyle that night. And I'm going to look at this thing from a defensive standpoint and analyze who was Kyle Rittenhouse, why was he there, and what was his behavior. Support my channel. Um, subscribe. I'm going to be putting out a lot of these videos. Yeah, I know they're long. I know they're, they're detailed and stuff. But you know what? If we're going to talk about this case in a logical, rational manner, you have to put in the effort. You have to read the statutes or you have to at least willing to listen to a longer video and take a person's arguments into account. But that's not what's happening out there. People are just producing junk. They, they know almost nothing of what happened that night and they form some conclusion. They put out their, their views and it's not helping. I, I just really hope that uh, you can like my channel, you can subscribe and tell others about it. And if you're a lawyer and you think I got something wrong, by all means, put it in the comments below. Let me know. I don't want to be wrong. If I have made a mistake, I want to own up to it because it doesn't do any good, again, to, to um, wax over certain things because it's all going to come out in the court case anyway. Um, I don't want to be wrong. I want to be right. Anyway, good day.